Hi guys, welcome to In 5 Minutes. In today's video, we would be understanding the page size effects on the performance of the system. Let's try to understand what we are trying to discuss in this. Okay, we all know few things. We all know that a page would consist certain frame or reverse way. A frame would consist certain page. Here we are discussing the size factor. Now, why it is going to be so significant? Now, what we have is two major options to play with. Should we have a small page size or should we have a huge page size? Now, let's try to understand each of it. First of all, if we think we should have a small page size, there's obviously one thing to understand. Yes, if it is a small, the advantage we will get is no thrashing. That means since the page is so small, you will not consist data of multiple processes, keeping one data to one process. Okay. But at the same time, there is a negative to it. That is more transfer. Because pages are so small that they need to be transferred again and again till the entire data is read. So performance wise, small is not advisable because more transfer is needed. So we can then shift to the second option, which we thought is a better option, huge. We say we'll keep page size huge. Now, even when you make page size huge, there are few conflicts. The good part about it, no need of much transfer. The advantage is no need of much transfer. Transfer once and your job will be done. But there has to be a negative part to this. That negative side of this is false sharing. We already discussed false sharing is when two or more processes would have that data on a single page. So they will be keep on accessing this page and keep on swapping this page due to which performance goes down. The question simply remains is we cannot have a huge because thrashing. We cannot have small because more transfer. What is advisable? The answer to that is the mid option. Let's call it the third option. In our case, we call it moderate. If we just keep the moderate things, we have an advantage of no thrashing and no need of transfer at the same time. That means it has two advantages, no thrashing. That means pages is just big enough to store data of only one process plus not much transfer. So what should be the ideal size? Okay, we also have equation for this. The ideal size for such a page should be around 4 KB. That's it. So what would be effect of performance on or what would be effect of performance with reference to page size? Okay, smaller, the more transfer. So it will become slower. Bigger can lead to false sharing. So again, its performance will go down and the CPU utilization will go up. But when it comes to moderate, we can take advantage of both and still do the best. So page size should be moderate. Thanks for watching this video, guys.